gravitational potential at a point is defined as amount of work done in bringing a body of unit mass from infinity to that point without acceleration okay now firstly understand this definition we know that suppose this is a body of mass m and when we bring another body in the vicinity of it which is free to move it will get accelerated toward it with acceleration a now if this body is to be brought from infinity to that any point without acceleration it means we have to make the force zero or we can say we have to apply a force which is equal and opposite to this gravitational force so that is that why that is why only the acceleration produced will be the body will move without acceleration and now it means if we have to take the body from this point to this point without acceleration we have to do some work that work done stored in the body is known as gravitational potential okay so basically we came to know here that we have to find out the work done in bringing the body from infinity to any point now let us take a look over the diagram here a body of mass m okay is kept at a distance uh at a distance uh, suppose this is the point a okay and this point is at a distance x fine and we have to bring the body to point b through a small distance dx and this is infinity okay and let the point we have to bring at point p which is at a distance r fine now again this is a body of mass capital m here we have kept a unit mass means plus 1 mass unit mass okay so in this case let body is to be brought from infinity to point p without acceleration it means our limit of integration will be from infinity to r let initially the particle is at position a at distance x and we uh, move a bit through a displacement dx okay so now we can say that uh, gravitational potential p okay potential we will write potential gravitational potential is equal to work done per unit mass okay that is work done per unit mass now we will find out that work done for finding out work done we know that force is equal to g m into 1 by now what will be here not r square it is x square initially the distance between the bodies is x square now small amount of work done in displacing the body from a to b is dw which is equal to f into dx now f is what this is g m by x square into dx this is dw but what we have to find out we have to find out the work done in taking the body from infinity to point p in that case work done is given by integration infinity to distance is varying from infinity to r so this is gm by x square into dx or gm is taken outside x square ka integration will be x to power minus 2 plus 1 upon minus 2 plus 1 lower limit is infinity and upper limit is r so this is equal to gm this is minus 1 by x minus 1 by x infinity to r now using the rule minus gm upper limit is 1 by r minus lower limit is infinity this factor becomes 0 so we will be having minus gm by r this is known as gravitational potential which is equal to work done okay so this is equal to work done and this comes out to be negative negative means if we talk about the maximum value of gravitational potential that will be at r is equal to infinity at r is equal to infinity this potential will be zero and maximum value of a negative term is zero so that will be maximum having maximum value and at the surface it will be minus gm by capital R at the surface at the surface small r is equal to capital R and in that case that this expression will become minus gm by R this is gravitational potential for uh, expression for gravitational potential.